こんにちは。My name is Keiko.、Uh, I'm regional operation manager in Japan and South Korea. And I base in Tokyo, Japan.、Uh, hello, everyone.、Uh, my name is Laziz. I am regional operations manager for Central Asia and I'm based in Uzbekistan. So, we are talking about East Asia. It includes Japan, South Korea, and China. And we've been, when we talk about Central Asia, it's Mongolia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, and Turkmenistan. The, the difference, why? It is different from other agencies because for many years this part of the world has been、uh, isolated. You simply sort of exploring for yourself a hidden gems、uh, because there are so many interesting sites from the Silk Road time, the historical monuments, the culture, so it's simply mind blowing. When you visit Japan and South Korea, It feels like you are seeing like modern and tradition side by side. If you go to Tokyo, you see like crazy fashion,、uh, pop culture. If you go to Seoul, K pop. And if you travel into like mountainside, you get to see more peace, meditations, to hot spring, to relax your bodies. And you know, magical Kyoto, you get to see geisha in the past. Uh, but you get to、uh, see like modern people's life, great thing about traveling with G. You are traveling like locals, so you get to kind of get the glimpse of how local people are living day to day. CEO can be a great bridge when it comes to communicating with local people. We, we have a chance to go to rural area to like homestay for G for good as well. And then CEO can really I、help you to include together. So it's great to see happiness in, in both community and also traveler and CEO too. <laughs> so, the highlights that、uh, you may expect to see if we talk about Mongolia, vast valleys, mountains, nomadic lifestyle, they still in practice. Each of the stands has, has its own beauty. If you go to Kazakhstan, it's、uh, vast steppes and the modern cities. Kyrgyzstan, it's mountains and valleys and nomadic culture. Tajikistan, they do also have amazing monuments, amazing mountains, but also additionally the culture. Uzbekistan, yes, legendary cities like Samarkand, Bukhara, Kiva, UNESCO heritage sites. And of course,、uh, all these countries they go through the Silk Road to China to visit, of course, the Great Wall, vibrant Shanghai. As Raji said, in Beijing, you, know, you have、uh, a lot going on. At the Xi'an, you feel like back in time. And all the markets to explore. And Taiwan has beautiful food to explore and enjoy. Food,、uh, so much to choose from the food of,、uh, in Japan and Korea. Definitely try real fresh sushi in Japan. Ramen, there's hundreds, hundreds of ramen shops. And don't forget to eat okonomiyaki, savory pancake Japanese version. So tasty. Kimchi, bibimba in, in South Korea, too. Oh, so much.、Eh, you need to come so empty stomach. <laughs> One of the famous dishes is Mongolian barbecue. There is a traditional style of it. Tajikistan, Kazakhstan,、uh, Kyrgyzstan, and Uzbekistan. The must to try dishes are shish kebabs,、uh, mm -hmm. or shashlik, we call them, the rice pilaf. Which is very, very famous, and、uh, samosas, the pastries with the different fillings inside. We can search a lot of things on Google for the facts, but things we can't really search is a feeling of atmosphere, taste, smell. CEO really knows where to go for hidden, tiny little restaurants, markets, and bars. Wherever you want to express. So, generally speaking, we don't stay in international chain hotels. So, it's more of a ripple effect. By going to those communities, we are creating an opportunity for them to、uh, expand, to develop. We recommend people to travel to East Asia with Jet Ventures. Uh, because it's a small group tour, you can stop and interact with local people. We exchange the happiness. And culture each other, which is beautiful of traveling. My dear friend, don't postpone it. Come to Central Asia and 
and、uh, you definitely will love every moment of it. If you love food or nature, pop culture, fashion, meditation, come to East Asia. We are waiting for you.